These are dark days, I fear. of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Wade. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rashi. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. My lord, if you want a hostage, take me. Uh, Ethan. Uh, oh, my God. No! Don't let them take me! Uh, uh, oh, Those are good things for his like <clears throat> family sister. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh my god, is that? This is a funky sword. I oh, know. I would shit myself. It's Asher. <clears throat> I got my weenie yo. Whoa, it, it's just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. Her ale's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. This stuff is weak compared to Northern Ale. You can stop pacing. They'll be here soon. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. Mm -hmm. Is this hookah? Oh shit! Fragrant. <laughs> mm. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. This place could use a good cleaning. I complained to the owner, except he's probably dead. <laughs> Ale. Goes in yellow, comes out yellow, waste time even drinking it if you ask me. Considering we found it in an abandoned tavern, it's not bad. They smell off to you. It's the only thing in Yunkai that doesn't. I know. It's a filthy haven for thieves, murderers, and other deadly bastards. You should feel right at home. I know mm. I do. May we drink, thieve, and fight until the end. I'll drink to that. <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Hey, shut up. <laughs> Another round? <clears throat> it's the only proper response. Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Do you have Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. And after that... No, oh, does Asher scare you? You should see him when he's angry. 800 gold dragons for capturing him. Eight lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores, 
Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? Who needs the best doors when the bad ones are so much more fun? I knew I liked you for a reason. <laughs> My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. Go back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've got nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? It's all an excuse to tell everyone else what to do. It's not that simple. In the north, these feuds run deep. Oh, fuck the north. We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. To us. Aye, to us. Oh, shit. Fuck. You're not that drunk, are you? Sorry. Oh, come on. That's so funny. Beskar, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! It's good to see you too, Tazal. Where is he? Where's who? Where's who, bitch? Here. 400 dragons. They must be working for the Wise Masters. And that's all you're getting. The bounty is 800. You get four. It's more than you deserve. That's just cheating. <laughs> fuck! Cash out, cash out! Oh, fuck me. Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of all that here. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Oh. Oh. And we're done with you too. You just made a huge mistake, Tazel. You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asher Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Not today, I'm afraid. Get down! All right, who dies first? Who wants to die on the end of the season? Kill them, now! No, more life. I just want to get in the armor, that's true. Come on! I'm on the guys! She couldn't pass me! To be down! Fuck you, Ash. 
Oh shit, he's cutting his arm off. You know what this reminds me of? <laughs> that brothel in Novos. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. You leave them alive, they come back to kill you. Damn, just when I thought we were getting out of this. What? Oh no, she's gonna die, probably. Wait, is that Malcolm? Holy shit. Oh, no, the gods are firing. Fuck. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. That ended well. More on their way. We need to go. Fuck that, I'm not leaving that gold. Come on. Malcolm. Damn. That's we have scary. to keep moving. Malcolm, stop! It Asher. Doesn't matter if you took it. I'm glad I found you, my lord. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Uh, when you say something like, oh, maybe I should buy a thing home. Like, oh, I'm here to bring you home. That's when you know you have to go home. What? What just happened? Alright, so that was the start of the other episode. Now I'm back in the left room. Who am I now? Am I another member of the family? I didn't die. Holy shit, this is great. Oh, no. Damn yeah. foresters. Have to be so fucking far away. That's far enough. 
I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly tops from oh, the shit, looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? <laughs> How much are you paying for them? Sir Ryland. You again. I, uh, Who I you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed up like a I, lord. Uh, Sir a Ryland. stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at Duskendale. <laughs> and you have the oh, fucking stones to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men. And you dare come here claiming to have forest the dead? They're forest. <sighs> Look at the colors. Please. Now. Fine. I'll dump them in the river then. <laughs> you come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? No, I, I heard you. Oh, that was shit. a sheep fucker. <clears throat> I'm sorry, sir. I... Don't worry, sir. <laughs> Seven hours. <laughs> What is it, oh, sir? Shit. This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! He survived, Roderick. it's gonna be nuts. He passed out again. Basically, have to carve him up like a pig. Anything useful, we're gonna have to like rot it. My lord, yeah, you should not be awake. The milk of the poppy. Drink. Come now. That's it. Yeah, fair enough. Roderick! My lady! I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him... Sir, my lady, I must insist that you leave. No, Roderick, what have they done to you? These wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Roderick? What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. Sure that it was the, it was like anesthesia. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. It's nice. Roderick. Yeah, I oh, lost you. oh goodness, I'm sorry. dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Come here, sister. How bad is it? <laughs> Maester all Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. Tell them it don't look good. <laughs> I wouldn't dare. Damn straight, damn straight, bitch. I'm Roderick, beautiful. Something you need to know. Uh, Ethan is dead. Ethan. Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan offered to go in my place. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Like it was nothing. Ethan. How could this happen to him? 
I can't believe he's gone. Me neither. We're planning to honor Ethan in the grove alongside father. And now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral. I can't. <laughs> People are crying, sometimes you just want to cry. It's been chaos here since he died. We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. They need a lot. You're still a hero to them. If you lead, others will follow. I know you still need time to heal. But I'll be fine, Talia. The council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. But if you're not ready... Only one way to find out. <sighs> I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. You can do this with your perfectly normal leg, bitch. You don't gotta repeatedly press buttons. <laughs> I'm fine. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I was rolled in on a corpse cat. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. Ready? I'm ready. That's it. <laughs> Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Castle Black. So this is the seat of the night. Frostfinger. 
On a horse, no less. Looks like it was built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. I need to speak to the Lord Commander. We, uh, don't have one right now. It's Frostfinger you want. You'll get you sorted out. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. You fight like a girl. A woggling girl, maybe. You better just teach him a lesson. Oh, I'll teach him. What's in these barrels? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Oh my god, he didn't know. Just bring your... Your Frostfinger? You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? I'm Gary Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Gary Tuttle of Ironrath? And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post? Or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit. But then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Of course. Everyone who comes here is gonna die. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship and headed for... They give us month-old bread. Ugh, there's fucking worms in it. The Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die. The Whitehill soldiers the always seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. De Gaulle's locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fucking... Is that him? Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. Had a run-in with Walden. He's a bloody cripple. And he's leaning on a girl. 
Should have buried him with the corpses. Real shame about your leg, my lord. Foresters are cursed. But who gives a toss? Don't let go of your sister now. We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Go round. You deaf? I wonder what's weaker, your legs or this house? None of these options are good. I am the lord. I am the lord of this house, and you will move. It's madness. You can't starve I them out. I will not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolishness. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as Sentinel. My lords. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. It's good... <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the White Hill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies! You'll bring yeah, Lord White Hill down on guy. us, you fool! My lord, please! Oh, I'm a fool! At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Surrounded. stole. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. He needed you there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no bloody army. It's because you have no wit. Silence. I am your lord. You're here to give counsel, not to quarrel at my table. Did of course. You? Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight over. amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took deep with Mott. Halsey's Helleva, Grayson and Brownbarrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You yeah, forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now. He's barely recovered. Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. 
If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an ironwood contract. I'll secure a father's army, no matter what it takes. Very good, my lord. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. But if Elena does come to Ironrath, She'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Can we not compromise? One white ill is one too many. I press sir. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. Maester. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. I didn't really solve any problems. Gregor last lit these point. torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. But thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. It will honor him properly. It will put a lot of pressure on my like twelve-year-old daughter. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Nope. It's useless. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Let Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Lady Marjorie intends to visit again very soon. Lovely. They'll be pleased to hear that. Intends to. Perfect. And the seal are also perfectly vague words. And the seal. Here you are. See, good thing. See, if I had the seal, she'd be like, oh, where's the seal? Oh. Are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asked that I help so ensure much. Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Pay no mind to her. She asks too much. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. I already asked for something. But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. 
I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Ugh, I can't use her here. I'd better get going. But if it didn't work before, then it wouldn't Mira, work this Mira, we'll time. talk more later. We'll talk more. Of course we'll talk more later. It's not like... Oh, we're not talking yet. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Ugh. Okay, take a second to think. If we forward a letter, she's gonna gladly marry this dude. But you don't wanna fuck with marriages. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Oh, shit, I wouldn't have found Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war. Yeah, but and this bitch would have I know me. you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. What about? Well you we see what it is. We really should get these letters sent first. Uh, Do you need any help with them? I've got them. She says that no matter what you pick. Nice. It isn't Jamie. It just looks like Jamie that missed her. Bloody cold today, isn't it? Seems to keep getting colder. They say it'll be a short autumn. Oi, fuckhead! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? You do. The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. I had this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. I stuck it in him instead. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes? What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Boy, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Fucking talk about my sister, all right? And something for you, too. Who in seven hells is talking back there? Tuttle. Who was it? Oh, shit. Um... These two were arguing. I just Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. <sighs> Fuck. I Garrett to Tuttle this. here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna to show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? 
Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. It's John I need a word. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Are they both mad at me now? I'm really sorry. Here we go. Again. Who's up? Oh. See those dummies? Those are things. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Do have to get good stuff to become a ranger? You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these, we're like... Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt, left target, head. Good. It's right target, everywhere. chest. Not bad. Center, between the eyes. One less wildling. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him, ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Swiped it right off him. Don't tell, all right? I don't think he'd take it kindly. I can't promise anything. I'm trusting you. Don't let me down. I told him I, I can't promise anything. You can't just mindlessly tell your secrets to people and then get mad when they tell other people. Take that! Take that! Oh, watch your bloody tongue! You! Grab a practice sword. Got the pick. Oh, shit. Let's see. This one should do. Not the bloody wall. Ooh. I'll be sparring with you today. Not that good. Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. Good luck. <laughs> Come on, keep at it. Four. Get off me, you bloody ox. You got lucky. I froze face. I don't know. 
Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. Donald, right. I can do this. This is pretty fucking heavy. Want some help? Yourself, the bloody up. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing has it frozen off. Fuck off, Finn. Bloody ass. Mind your language, Carrot. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow's a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. Come to think of it, you were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, oh Dawn. <gasps> you pushed him like Give me my knife. Six I don't have it, I swear. Out of my way. Got it. Do something. Just calm down. Fight. Oh! I won't say face. it again. Step the fuck aside. That wasn't very nice. Now about this. Yeah, well, hey, no. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get Here they go again. What? Eat a bitch. Eat a bitch. Eat a bitch. Get off. What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this. On your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man atop the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind your fucking manners. He's got bits, man. You, Frostfinger. come with me. Better to have the smart friend than the dumb friend. This way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie.
is like Just through here. What are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Whoa, bitch. That's some scary. Where did you get that? I know a boy who keeps the Queen cellar well stocked. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. A little won't crazy. hurt. It's just wine. Not every <sighs> day you get a chance to drink the Queen's wine. So, I, uh... Well... I just... I'm not very Wait, good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. Well, that means I can't tell you now, fuck. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. I don't want to hide from you as well. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been oh, wait, I think to serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. I'm I'm so sorry, Sarah. It's just I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you, and I was hoping that maybe Sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Please, Mira. I can't make that promise, Sarah. You could if you wanted. Yeah, it's I not that lie. difficult. I'm sorry, Sarah. No, I'm sorry. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. Yeah, With what happened to your brother and your father. And my brother. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion, my lord. Ladies? What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. Care to join us, Lord Tyrion? 
Hmm. Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. <laughs> Strange it should find its way into a bush. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking, especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, negotiating with him won't be pleasant. You can't trust Lord Whitehill. I don't intend to. Come with me. Mm. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. My lady. Nice. Not good to stay back in one place, but this guy knows. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant, like finding gold in your chamber pot. Apologies, my lady. Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. That much is clear. My name is Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a forester. That's a private matter, my lords. Foresters have nothing to offer, my lord. If you want Ironwood, you'll have to deal with the White Hills. Andros? I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss You us? can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. There's no need to make threats. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change so your mind. Forward. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. I'm sure you already have a proposal in mind. Say the Crown agrees to buy Ironwood solely from you. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You will have him at your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? If war comes, I know we will win. You have no shortage of confidence. Thanks, right? 
I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. We have an understanding, then. Thank you, my lord. Never get at you. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. <laughs> for your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. Maria. Are you episode that short?